Hey, welcome back YouTube. Uh, all to my loyal, faithful subscribers. Uh, I love you guys all. So, today we're going to mess around with the Swedish mess kit. This is the M44. Um, there's two types, the M40, M44. The M40 is made out of stainless steel. The M44 is made out of aluminum. They're getting harder and harder to find. However, I hear that Dave Canterbury is coming out with his version of the M40, which is uh, made out of stainless steel. So it'll be out probably later this fall. So I would like to check that out. But anyways, um, this is a 500 milliliter um, Nalgene bottle, wide mouth. Uh, got it specific, specifically for this trip. Dummy me, I forgot how much beans swell. Uh, last night I filled it up to here with the beans, and as you can tell, it's all the way to the top. So, yeah, so I had to break out the uh, uh, large mess kit. I'm gonna do my take on red beans and rice. It's not gonna be true authentic style, but we're gonna make do with what we got. So we got ourselves some instant rice, uh, Tony Chatrice Creole seasoning. I'm butchering the names. Go sue me. I don't care. Uh, then we got some dried onions. So we, I don't have any dried uh, bell pepper. So we got some onion instead. So it's not just beans and rice. So we got some other stuff. So I'm going to set this up uh, with the original Trangia stove. Actually, let's pull it out. Ugh. Hang on a second here. Let me try and get in. There we go. This is your stove. Let me see it in the inside. You pull the legs out like so, and the pot sits on this. Open that up. Here's the pot itself. It's similar to, well, I wouldn't say it's similar. It's, it's their take on the European style mess kits where they're all like pot style. So this is your lid slash frying pan. You open up these, and instead of grabbing the hot metal handle, excuse me, metal handle, you can get a stick, jam it, uh, carve it and jam it in here and use the stick to use as a actual frying pan. Pretty nifty of the, of the Swedes. Okay, this I added, this is a uh, pot lifter so you can pick it up like so. A little cleaning rag. Uh, my utensils for this kit. Uh, this came with the kit. Now, this is almost a complete kit. The only thing that's missing is the little triangular cup. So, as you can tell, it's all in Swedish. And this is the Trangia... Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, Trangia, they make the uh, alcohol st burners for this. And they just improved it for the civilian market. All right? So, same concept, but if you want to extinguish the flame, you got to pull this O-ring out, cover up like so, and wait for it to cool down. Then you put the O-ring back in, and then you can seal it and put the lid on and put it back in your mess kit for traveling. So, I'm going to set up and get the beans cooking first because you have to cook your beans thoroughly otherwise you can get sick from the enzymes that are in undercooked beans so here we go I'm gonna pause it here and I'll show you when I got things set up alrighty I got the alcohol stove uh, fueled up and I went through a half a bottle or pretty much maybe almost two-thirds of this bottle so we're in a lighter stove Okay. Oop, yep, we're lit. All right, let me come around to the other side, get our, excuse the noise in the background. Everybody's here for the holiday at the Our Syndicate meetup. Okay. And 
and something tells me these are not fully hydrated. But we're going to cook them. Whoop, yep, still burn. Still lit. This is almost a full, yeah, three quarters of a canteen, uh, a full canteen into the pot. We're gonna put the still the thing on like so. Give this a stir. Like so, my end frame, yeah. Okay. And then put the lid on and let it do its magic. Alrighty, I walk away and this thing was off. And as you can see, she's at a roaring boil. Okay. Let's see if these are soft enough. Almost. So let's go back to these in a little while. Okay, we had to uh, restart the uh, alcohol stove. This thing was burning for a good, I'd say, hour. But when you're uh, chewing the fat and drinking beer, you lose track of. Excuse me, lose track of time. All right, so uh, the beans are now done. We're going to add our dehydrated onions and our Creole seasoning. So, let's see, through, hang on to this. Uh, I'd say that's what, uh, about a quarter cup? Yep. Alrighty, throw that in. Seal this up good and tight. Now we're going to add our Creo seasoning. This is one of those titanium sporks or uh, spoons. Uh, it's about a tablespoon and a half, about a tablespoon. Don't want it too spicy. Not yet, anyways. I'm gonna let that cook for a little bit, get the onions rehydrated. Now, like I said, I do not have green pepper. And I've looked at a numerous traditional uh, red beans and rice recipes. They're asking for uh, green pepper, garlic and a bunch of other stuff and when you're out in the field you ain't got that you know the best you can do is have dried stuff having uh, extra spices like the creo seasoning that's going to be a challenge you know it's like a cart uh, cardboard tube you're gonna have to find some way to package that in uh, smaller bottles so we're gonna give this uh, stir for a couple minutes and then we're gonna add our rice Alrighty, now the moment of truth. We are going to add our rice. Stop your grinning and drop your linen. <laughs> to quote the great Bill Paxton. Now, there's many ways to have this. I've always seen the uh, red beans uh, and sauce poured on top of the cooked rice but since we're out in the field you know we only got one pot something tells me we're gonna have to add more yeah we're gonna have to add more water 
Now, I believe this is a cup and a half of rice, so it's going to be more beans than rice. I'll have to pause this to get my other canteen. There we go. Now, of course, the, the uh, rice is going to swell and so forth. What do you think? We got enough uh, rice in there? We should add more. That looks good. That looks good? All right. Magic is uh, right here with me, so he's get kind of. We're experimenting together. It's my idea. He's kind of giving me some ideas. So we'll let this uh, simmer for a little bit and come back. So I'll pause it here, and you guys will see the end result. Okay. Oh man, what do you think of the uh, improvised red beans and rice? Oh, they were pretty good. They're pretty good. Little extra seasoning. Yeah, I, I, I kind of noticed that too. I had to add a little extra, so yeah, yeah. You can always add. You can't take away. Yep, this is true. Yeah, Magic. What do you think? You know, I really liked it. It wasn't too overpowering. Um, and what What's impressive is the way that uh, that you put that together. Um, just that little cooker is enough there to feed, you know, what five or six of us. Mm -hmm. so, as a, or as a side dish for yeah, five, six yeah. people, easy. Yeah. I think I had probably a cup in my bowl, and I'm feeling pretty content. And so. judging by what's left, if I can get that in the shot, where's it at? Yep, there it is, right there. That's about half gone. So, if you're out in the field, probably two men. If you're starving, easy, oh, easy, yeah. easy. You're gonna have left. Well, if you're starving. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Thumbs up? I give it a 10. Give it a 10. It's a make it again. <laughs> okay. All right, folks. If you like my channel, please like and subscribe. Uh, check out the R Syndicate. Links are all at the bottom. Check out Uman of the Uman channel. Magic. Uh, family magic? American regulators. American regulators. Uh, John of the Prepared Mind. Without him, though, we wouldn't be here. Uh, and all so many, many more. So take care, everyone, and God bless.